Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another pick a card reading. Today we're going to be seeing what your life purpose is. So if you would like to see what your life purpose is, then carry on watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a career slash life purpose reading. And basically this pick a card reading is basically gonna help you to figure out what you wanna do in your career and for money and that sort of thing. Also to help you with your life path. If you're confused on kind of where you want to go or you just want confirmation so if you'd like to pick a group now we have group one here group two group three group four and group five so whatever you are resonating more towards and we will just get started so we have group number one and let's see what your career life path is going to be so first of all i'm going to choose from the uh life purpose oracle cards so first we have freedom, that's so nice, speaker and sensitivity. So the first thing I'm seeing is there's a lot to do with your throat chakra. With this freedom, I feel like it's really pulling me towards this orange, which is matching the orange in my flowers. I feel like that's to do with your sacral chakra and the chakra that drives your confidence and your self-esteem, that sort of thing. I feel like if you work more on this or if you if you feel like you need to work more on your sensitivity, on your confidence and your drive that sort of thing then this is probably the thing to do if you want to be a speaker this could also be to do with an influencer so like a youtuber a blogger that sort of thing someone with a voice someone who wants to share their voice for the good this could even be a doctor someone who uses their words or a counselor someone who uses their words or something to heal somebody else and to use their skill of, of speaking to give out messages to people. We also have sensitivity. You're becoming more sensitive and need to change, make changes accordingly. So this could also tend to the fact that you are very sensitive and you use your voice as a way to communicate how you feel a lot of the time. And because you're so sensitive, you pick up on how people are feeling and this can be really, really good in terms of helping people when it comes to your life purpose, as in like if you're helping people with say their a life coach maybe or you want to be a counsellor that sort of thing this can also help because you're helping to you'll know how people feel just by feeling and also as I say with your chakras I feel like it's very very good for you to concentrate on your sacral chakra and your throat chakra because those two chakras are going to be the ones that are going to really really help you we also have freedom you're free to do what you choose so essentially you have a lot of tools for you and i have mentioned quite a few jobs so there's quite a few things that you could be doing you could also um be a self-employed person you could be a freelancer could be working for yourself so that means you basically have the freedom to pick your own hours you can do what you want basically to be your own boss if that's the sort of thing you want or you could just want the freedom of actually not having a job if you feel like you've had enough money you just kind of want to have a little bit of alone time you need a bit of a break from working that sort of thing if that's what you feel you need to do then the universe is telling you you need to do this maybe also to i know this is to do with jobs but also to take a holiday if you feel like you have actually overworked yourself or you maybe need the freedom of changing a new job so that's just from those three cards so let's see what else you have so we also have kick up your heels and environmental awareness groundhog spirit time to let go cat spirit claim your independence healing heart and mother healing so basically i feel like you guys sorry I have a cough in my throat, I have a frog in my throat. So I feel like you guys love to be outside. I feel like as you're so sensitive, you can get overwhelmed quite easily. So it's good for you to be grounded. I feel like working outside could be really, really good. You could also want to work with animals as well because you have a very healing heart. With healing heart, it says you're a powerful healer, keep up the great work. So this is gonna to be to do with your sensitivity and the fact that you wanna be more free in your job. It's time to get out of the the reins of maybe being under somebody as in like working for somebody so you want to as i say work for yourself also it's making time for yourself and making sure that you're having enough fun time and you are enjoying a job that you really really love and also we have mother healing it says as you're feeling towards your mother heal your de desires manifest more rapidly and accurately so this could be to do with a mother 
relationship that you could have you are also maybe very caring you're also like a mother to maybe your clients or as in like you you love this mother role where you can take care of people maybe you want to actually be a carer and there's lots of actually quite a few different opportunities here to for your career so just take this as it resonates take this as what you feel is more resonating with you as your feelings towards your mother heal i feel like this could actually pertain to the fact that you actually need to heal what's going on with your mother maybe your relationship with your mum maybe uh, maybe that your mum has told you that you can't do certain things or has told you that sort of thing so i'm getting more of a negative feeling when it, from the actual card but the overall energy of the card isn't that negative it's actually about being the mother to yourself and healing people as it comes in and also to be a mother to the people that you work with your clients that sort of thing so we have time to let go and claim your independence so it's definitely a role for self independence so there's this working for yourself i feel agitated as well so i'm definitely feeling like you guys are kind of on the verge of quitting your job or maybe going into self-employment the fact that we've got time to let go and claim your independence that basically tells me that you want to let go of your old job you want to let go of old thought patterns as well and want to release and go into a more independent job where you can be more confident in yourself and do something you really really love so I hope this helped. If this did, then please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if this resonated. I love reading all your comments. You guys make my absolute day. Thank you for all the subscribers. We've actually reached over a thousand subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. Also, I'm getting a few clients coming in as well. So if you guys would like to do a private reading with me, then all the information is down below. I've got an April sale until the end of April. I'll also be doing sales after April as well. So if you guys keep an eye out and look in the description box for any information, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's see what you guys got for your career or life purpose. Let's have a look. So for your life purpose oracle, we have infinite abundance, talk to your angels and support. So there isn't necessarily an actual job here. So I feel like you guys might be in between jobs or you're just very confused about what the sort of thing you want to go into. So basically, let's see what the cards say. So we have infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. Talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance, support. Your life purpose fully supports you. So basically I feel like you guys are very like very sad at the moment when it comes to your life purpose you're very confused this is kind of just what I'm getting but basically I feel like some of you might actually be on a roll you might actually know what your life purpose is you just kind of want the what's the word clarification about what it is you want to do so let's just see if there's any actual specific life purposes if not then this is kind of what you need to hear you're fully supported basically there's infinite abundance around you so you can kind of choose what you want to do there isn't really a particular thing that's coming up here so you might want to do kind of anything that kind of comes up if you feel like that resonates with you and if not then maybe take the time to heal yourself and to focus on your emotions towards a new job and actually if this is going to be the right job for you also this is maybe telling me that if you are in a job that you don't really enjoy this could be a time to let go and start something new so let's see if there's any other cards that want to come up so we have strength okay so they're telling me to stop shuffling because there's not going to be an actual job coming out so basically we've got Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. So I feel like this is definitely a time where you guys, I feel like this is a tower moment. If the tower card comes out, then I definitely feel like that's going to be a definite thing because there's definite strength that you're having to pull yourself up by your bootstraps and kind of carry on. But definitely there's support coming in for you and don't worry because it's like, I feel like you guys need to switch your mindset from worrying to being more of a productive mindset, being more, I feel like you guys know what you want to do you just need to find that maybe and maybe just take some still time to really think about it and if not just it will come to you because you have infinite abundance here and you are supported constantly by your guides and angels and the universe so let's see what other cards we got take time out embrace the in between these are exact cards i'm feeling with the energy take time out is a massive massive thing 
it's like because the cards don't want to tell me what your actual job is going to be it's like you need to figure that out yourself take time out i feel like you guys have been pushing and pushing and pushing until you're actually going to crack and you're like okay i really need to figure something out i really need to stop maybe dilly dallying around actually what i want to do and actually going to figure out what i want to do because this is going to really suit me i feel like you guys are definitely in between jobs right now maybe you aren't working or you're kind of figuring out if you want to maybe be self-employed or you want to work for somebody or a particular brand that you want to work with I feel like maybe you guys have been really, really working like too much or you've just kind of been mentally drained and you're thinking, oh my God, I need to get out of this place. So I feel like you guys need to embrace the in-between. It's going to be okay. I might actually read this card if we haven't got any extra support around this card because this card I feel like needs to be read. There's going to be, I think, a sentence in there that I think you need to hear. So you also have family harmony. Moving forward fiercely. There you go. So you're definitely moving forward. I definitely feel it's because this is connected to the infinite abundance as well. We also have pay attention. Notice repetitious signs and in your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. And we also have dream big. So that's right next to infinite abundance and moving forward fiercely. So they're basically telling you with this card, it's basically a girl and she's got loads of fruit. And it's basically like an, the universe is offering you, look at all the stuff that you could be doing. Look how much you could be doing. So there's going to be so much that you can do. You just need to really think about what you want to do. And there's just so many things that you could do. I feel like a lot of you are fully qualified for so many jobs. And even if it's something that you don't need a qualification in, just do, I feel like just do, just tell me, do something that you really enjoy because it's really going to benefit your mental health as well. So we also have where it says about repetitious signs. I feel like you guys, when I, I think this was this group that I was shuffling, I looked at the clock and it said 404. So look for the number four for you guys as well. And we also have number nine and then two and six. So look for those numbers because that's really going to help you to find your life purpose and it's going to help you figure out you're on the right path. Also, I feel like maybe your family is telling you that you need to kind of get a job or maybe to maybe find a job to support your family. And I feel like if there's any negative people kind of telling you what to do, just basically ignore them because I really feel like you guys have been maybe avoiding your life purpose or maybe avoiding what you should be doing. This is just, I'm being completely honest. So take this as it resonates. But if there's people who are telling you maybe, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. And if you feel like it's the right thing, then just go for it because everyone is on a different life path and everyone has their own opinions and it's not always going to suit them. It's because that's their own life. This is your life now and you need to claim it. And I feel like you guys are going to do absolutely amazing things. So let's see what this is about with the embrace the in-between. If you're feeling nervous and wobbly, stop worrying about the past and future. Instead, be present in the moment. Balancing. For now is the sp in sorry, for now is the space in which creativity arises. Creativity is your bright light, but if you're moving too quickly in an attempt to avoid the discomfort of transition, you can blind yourself to the miraculous possibilities that are before you now and those just coming into being. The past has its lessons and planning has its merits, but right now you may be in balance because you're becoming too nostalgic for what once was or too anxious about what the future might hold. There is time to plan carefully. For now, be still and know that spirit is here co-creating with you in the moment. The next step will appear when it needs to appear. So basically, there was one sentence in here that was basically like, I feel like I need to repeat this. The next step will appear when it needs to appear. That is, I feel like, what you guys need to hear that was rhyming, I'm not a poet, didn't know it, hey, 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 <laughs> don't know what I'm talking about, oh my god, so thank you for watching guys, if this resonated with you, then please comment down below, we're a thousand subscribers, over a thousand, which is amazing, I love you guys so, so much, if you'd like to subscribe, please feel free, I am doing an April sale to the end of April, and also just please look down below if you're watching this after April, because I will still have personal readings available, so please look down below, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye. Hello group number two. Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome back to my channel. Let's see what you guys have for your career and your life purpose. So I'm going to pull out from the life purpose oracle first and we're just going to see what you guys have. So you guys have creative expression, career change and family. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. Career change, you're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve. Family, loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. I feel like a lot of you actually want to be retired because you've kind of been working too much. And I feel like you guys are actually going to be the people I'm talking to who I feel like have a bigger family, who have actual grandchildren. I feel like you're actually, it, this is going to help you to express your creativity because you're going to embrace your inner child as well. 
and I feel like a lot of you are going to be creating your new life because you're actually going to be focusing on something that's going to really resuit you in your creative kind of way I feel like a lot of you are very creative maybe you guys like painting photography filmmaking sketching I'm getting the word weaving um sewing crocheting that sort of thing I feel like a lot of you want to actually make your own maybe Etsy store or maybe your own store and want to sell stuff I can see you guys actually putting up artist paintings in a gallery so maybe a few of you want to do that so there's definitely a career change and I feel like you guys actually want to do a career that's more creative something that's actually gonna help you balance yourself out so we also have be honest with yourself and quiet time so basically be honest to yourself about what you want to do I love the fact that we've got quiet time and career change because I feel like you guys are really in between at the moment but be honest to yourself is, is the fact that you guys need to be honest with what you actually want to do and it's now time to be creative and to be expressive into what you want to do meditate really take time to be on your own without distractions I feel like with family as well you may want to do it go into a family business or maybe actually come away from family patterns where maybe you have a family business and you're like no I just want to do something for myself now but it could be your life purpose is to connect with your family maybe to I'm not too sure what sort of job that would be but to connect with your family and connect with your friends maybe you even work with your friends work with your family that sort of thing and to also spend more time with your family because I feel like I could really open your heart space if you're feeling a bit blocked but in general it's going to be really good for your health and overall spiritual awakening and emotional health basically just to connect with your family and just to be really really open and loving and I can see a lot of you are very loving as well and this is going to connect with your creative expression because I feel like a lot of you really really love your creativity and that's something that really drives you so let's see what we've got so we've got set your sights higher and can we put these on yes so we got set your sights higher increase your standards and expect more for yourself don't settle explore your options it's time to look at other possibilities it's a good time to make changes so this is going to be a good time this is basically just clarifying the fact that we've got a career change coming on and all your you guys are in the middle of a situation the fact we've got to explore your options and set your sights higher it's like I'm looking out to new opportunities something that's really going to suit me and explore your options explore the things that you actually want to do because there's so many different options for you I feel definitely in the creative industry there's so many different things that you could be doing and it's really kind of thinking about what would actually make me happy I think if I did this as a job on the daily what would I want to do because a lot of the time people do something and they kind of get bored of it or they think I really shouldn't have done this as a job because it's actually making me more miserable because sometimes if you put a hobby into a career it can sometimes be too over stimulating and it can also drain you so it's just thinking about those sort of things and to also take the time because I'm feeling like there's no rush I feel like a lot of you guys have actually just recently quit your job and you're just recently just thinking about what you want to do so we have take a leap of faith and you also have trust in divine detours so that's definitely a, a thing <laughs> trusting in the fact that things are changing but it's also taking a leap of faith into something that I don't feel like a lot of you guys have done before and it's also being confident in the fact that you actually want to do something for yourself it's kind of reminds me of like the fact that I've actually started tarot reading like the fact I have never done this before this is I've only been doing this for three months and it was a massive scary thing for me and I was thinking oh my god what would people think and that's just like an honest opinion because I have never done this sort of thing before I've always been intuitive but I've always always been scared of showing my spiritual side because of how people would react and I definitely feel like this is kind of pertaining to you guys it's like how would people think if I actually did maybe yoga as a job or like painting how would people feel but it's actually like how would you feel what would you actually want to do what would how would it feel to do your your amazing job how would it feel to maybe start doing paintings and getting paid for it how would it feel to maybe own your own yoga class that sort of thing like it's just doing that and it's also you guys are the kings and queens of your own life because this little little grasshopper has got a crown on its head and I'm feeling like you guys are like the queen and the queen of your own lives and you guys can set the rules you guys have this confidence and I feel like you guys can really go through this stage so I hope this helped and also please subscribe to my channel if you would like to and 
the just in the description down below I do personal readings I'm doing an April sale to the end of April and if it, you are watching this video up after April please still look in the description because I do private readings anyway so also um, like this video and comment down below thank you so much for being here I appreciate you so so much and I will see you all very very soon bye group number four hello guys thank you so much for clicking on this video let's see what you guys have for group number four for your career and life purpose so i'm just going to start with the life purpose oracle and then we'll get started so we have justice study you're on the right path and music so these are quite a few different things i feel like some of you are actually in university and you're studying something or you maybe want to start a course you actually want to do so with justice it says your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help so maybe you're actually studying law or you want to study law that sort of thing you want to study maybe chronology something that's to do with using your like i don't say using your brain but so i don't want to say it like that it's kind of like um connecting all the dots in a job so obviously with like law and criminology it's that sort of thing with connecting the dots kind of really thinking outside the box and I feel like you guys are really wise as well. You guys have a lot of knowledge. You guys are very, very intelligent because we've got the owl here as well and he's staring at me right in the face. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> I feel like you guys are night owls as well and you actually love like staying up late as well. Also, it says you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. And also music, your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. So maybe you actually guys want to go into music. Maybe you guys actually want to study music even playing an instrument you could be even want to be a director of a, like a music video or just generally be a director producer maybe an actor i'm definitely feeling more to do with like the bigger roles where you're more in charge of like a group of people but you could also be a producer or like an actual artist of music that sort of thing it's basically saying you're on the right path so just keep doing what you're doing i feel like a lot of you want to start a course of some sort or you you are thinking about a course or you're on a course that sort of thing to kind of get a bit more knowledge and I feel like you guys could also want to do a blog as well because we've got a keyboard and we've also got half a keyboard half a book so maybe you guys want to start doing that sort of thing maybe researching also maybe writing there's quite a few jobs coming out of here it doesn't have to be just about law and music but it could those are the things that I'm picking up on there's something else that I'm picking up as well I'm seeing like someone walking around I'm getting the words patrol officer so whatever that means to you I'm not sure what that means because that's more of an, that's not really a, <coughs> excuse me, English word, patrol, so, I don't know, maybe, oh, maybe you want to be on the police force, maybe, or I'm getting a, what is that word, what is that job? I've totally forgotten, I've literally totally forgotten, what is, what is that word? It's totally gone out of my head. What is it? It's, it's going to really annoy me now. And it's not coming through through spirit, so I'm not sure what it is. It took a while to come through. Park Ranger. Oh, God, that took a while. So, <laughs> moving on. We also have Peace of Mind, Make a Wish, and Ways of Prosperity. I thought these two need to go there. And we also have Buffalo Spirit and the Otter Spirit. The abundant universe will provide you are never alone make a wish and ways of prosperity so i feel like you guys are actually on the right path i feel like you guys are actually doing a lot of manifesting to get to where you are peace of mind basically shows me that you know what you always do want to do but this could also just be clarification here you watching this video to just show you that this is kind of that you're on the right path and you're doing all the right things and the fact that we've got the buffalo here i feel like the buffalo is a very strong character strong like it, buffaloes have strong characters. They're very, I feel like they're also very calm and earthy. So you could also be embodying um, an earth sign. If you're not an earth sign, just embodying a grounded sense of life and you wanna be grounded in your life. So it's that sort of thing. It's like, they will provide. And also we've got the number 10 and number four and two, 42. So obviously if those numbers resonate with you, there's gonna help you to be on your path. They're gonna be signs from the universe. And also the number 10 is completion. So it's like you've completed an old path. You're now onto a new path onto something that really really suits you and also that owl is really staring at me that owl is like proper staring <laughs> i don't know why i keep looking at it definitely something to do with being wise as well like a wise like a wise old man i'm not saying you guys are old but <laughs> maybe you guys are embodying like a wise old man i don't really know 
Um, but yeah, also some of you guys want to might, might be want to be a professor is what I'm getting, like a professor in a university or something. So if you guys re resonate with this pile, then please let me know. Comment down below if you resonate with this group. Subscribe if you would like to, and I'm doing an April sale until the end of April. I'm also doing private readings anyway, so if you guys want to book a private reading, I will always have my link down below to email me if you would like a private reading or message me on Instagram. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye! Hello group number five, thank you so so much for being here. Let's see what you guys have for your career and life purpose. So you guys have counselling, heart's desires and yoga. So you guys I feel like are very grounded people. You're the sort of person who likes to be out in nature. You want a job that's going to be fulfilling for you. You want something that's going to make your heart sore, something that's going to really suit you with love, that's going to make you help you love your job and it's also going to help bring love into your life as well. Basically it's just something that you really want to do. So we've got counselling and yoga here so if that's something that you want to do then definitely pursue that. I definitely feel like working with your chakras is going to really help you to be on your right path because I feel like there may be some chakras that are out of balance and then maybe balancing these will actually help you to be on your path. Also, maybe taking time to be at the beach or maybe take a walk somewhere where you're alone. You can just be with your thoughts and just helping you to figure out what you want to do. So when it says counselling, it says you heal with kind words, wise advice and an empathetic ear. So counselling with this could also be someone who wants to be a life coach, similar to I think in a group one or something. Um, you are very good with your voice, you're very good with your words, someone who loves to give advice, that sort of thing. You could also be doing a blog, someone who wants to give out advice, you could also be even like a YouTuber or someone who wants to be in the media who actually has, who um, uses their voice for talking maybe, you even might want to be somebody in the, what's the word, in the government, someone who is, talks about governmenty things, <laughs> don't know the word like um, an MP sort of thing, like a member of parliament, that sort of thing. Um, but also you could be completely opposite where you want to do yoga and you want to do something that's maybe active. You could also want to be a fitness instructor, that sort of thing. Something that's to do with the time where you can actually calm your mind and help others to calm their mind. I feel like you guys went for a lot as well and I feel like you guys have opened your heart and therefore you guys have a lot of wisdom to share. You have a lot of um, stories to share and I feel like this is very healing for you to actually share these because you've gone through a tough time I feel like and you guys know what you want to do or if you don't know what you want to do this is a sign to show you what you you could be doing and also it's like I feel like sharing wisdom and it, sharing your experiences with other people help from other people to let feel less alone and I feel like that's the sort of thing you want to show you want to you want to share your heart's desires you want to share your lovingness to other people I feel I hope that makes sense so we have problem resolved, self-employment, stay optimistic, and synchronicity. So definitely it's in the cards is basically what it's saying. It's like synchronicities are going to keep coming up. And self-employment, I feel like you guys want to be self-employed. And stay optimistic on this because your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. So I feel like you guys could actually be picking up the pace and maybe figure out what you want to do. But it's just kind of like, oh, getting scared. But it's like they're telling me don't it's going to be fine don't be scared it's going to all be fine and also we have problem result and also I'm playing with the middle of my hand I normally do that when I'm feeling a little bit anxious or I'm stuck I'm trying to figure out what I want to do so I feel like you guys are trying to figure out what you want to do but it's fine keep keep going forward don't look back and you guys are going to do some really good things I don't feel like you could be self-employed as well but look for synchronicity that says your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events notice them in order to increase their flow it also says that you're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities so I definitely feel like you guys want to be self-employed um as well and problem resolved is I definitely feel like this is to do with what I was just talking about about you guys going through some things and I feel like the problem is now resolved with all those things and now it's time to move on and go to and do things for yourself and really focus on yourself now. And also because the problems are resolved, it's like now I can move on, now I can focus on what really matters. As in not what really matters, that's not the right way of saying it, but what really makes my heart sore and something that's really for you, not for anyone else. And I feel like this isn't to your life purpose, but I definitely feel like some people are watching this group could also have had toxic relationships or toxic friendships and now they're walking, now they're going away. You can now focus and have a clearer mind on what you want to do and who you want to be. 
especially in your career. So we have the Armadillo Spirit, Set Healthy Boundaries, and the Panther Spirit, Reclaim Your Power. So this is definitely, this is literally what I was talking about, about toxic relationships, and about setting your boundaries, because I feel like once you've done this, it's like now you can really move on to a new job, a new path, because it's like, this will help you in your career, especially if you're self-employed, it's like setting the boundaries with clients, and that sort of thing. The number three and the number four, and number four, four is very, very, prominent as well and 2-2 two, two is also on the clock as well and number four so those sort of numbers are really going to help you find your synchronicity and to also set healthy boundaries in your life as well is going to really help and reclaim your power is like you are reclaiming your power now it's like now let's start now let's go now let's figure out what we want to do and let's start on our actual life purpose uh, but yeah I really hope this helped if this resonates with you then let me know and if you'd like a private reading, all the information is down below. I'm doing an April sale until the end of April. Also, there'll be other sales in the future. So just keep looking down below in the description box. I will always have my link down below. If you would like a private reading with me, you can email me or message me on Instagram. Please subscribe. Thank you so, so much for over a thousand subscribers. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for supporting me and for helping me on my journey and on my life purpose, I guess, <laughs> on my career. Uh, but thank you so much. Get, don't forget to give this a like and comment down below. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very, very, very soon. Bye.